2022, grade 7, Goss Math Contest, questions 1 through 10. Which of the following numbers is closest to 10? Well, you can put these numbers on a number line and put 10 there, and then you can plot the other ones, 8 and 13 and so on. And you'll notice that the distance from 8 to 10 is 2, and the distance from 8 to 13 is 3. So the closest number is 8, so that would be choice C. The graph shows the number of hours that Gabe spent riding his bike from Monday to Friday. The day on which Gabe spent the greatest number of hours riding the bike is. So on Monday, he rode the bike for one hour. Tuesday, four hours, right? You look at this side of the graph. On Wednesday, it looks like three hours. And on Friday, it looks like two hours. So the day he spent the most number of hours riding his bike was Tuesday. And that would be choice B. If x is less than 5, a possible value for x could be. So again, on a number line, if this is 5 and x is less than, then it's got to be on this side of the number line. So let's plot these. 7 is over here. 0 is over here. 12 is here. 23 is way out here somewhere. And 108 is also way out there. So the only number that's less than 5 is 0. So therefore... B is the answer. In a sequence of numbers, the first term is 3, each new term obtained by adding 5 to the previous term. The first four terms are 3, 8, 13, 18. What are the next three terms? 3, 8, 13, and 18. So you get the next term by adding 5. So add 5 to 18, and you get 23. Add 5 to 23, and you get 28. Add 5 again to 28, and you get 33. So these are the next three terms, and that would be choice C for number four. The faces of a cube are labeled one through six dots. Three of the faces are shown. What is the total number of dots on the other three faces? So one, two, three, four, five, and six. On that diagram, they are showing you uh, five, so that's already shown they're showing you a three and they're showing you the one so the ones they don't show you are two four and six the two obviously has two dots four it has four dots and the six has six dots so the total number of dots would be two plus four plus six and that is of course equal to 12 so d is the answer for number five in the diagram angle abc is equal to 90 degrees what is the value of x so they told me that ABC is 90, right? So that means this whole thing has to add up to 90. So 44 plus X has to equal 90. So therefore, X is equal to 90 minus 44. And that means that X is equal to 46. So the answer here is A. The singers in Sara's choir have the following heights. What is the range? So the range is basically from the the smallest to the largest. So the smallest, I believe, is 141 here, and the largest looks like 183.5. To define the range, you just have to uh, subtract them. So 183.5 minus 141 is the range, and that is one. That is 42.5. So that's the range. So that would be for number seven, A. In the diagram, the point 3, negative 4 is labeled. Well, 3 represents the x, so this is 3. y represents the negative 4, so that means it's down here. So we got to match them up. So 3 going down to negative 4, and that is t. So there you go. That would be choice E. While using a skipping rope, Emily jumps 52 times in 60 seconds, jumping at the same rate. How many times does Emily jump in 75 seconds? Okay, so 52 over 60 is equivalent to x over 75. That was how, That is how you would set it up as a question. Well, this side, I think you can reduce it to 13 over 15, I believe. And this, we can just leave it like that. And 
let's see, 13 times 75, if you cross multiply is 15x. Divide both sides by 15 and you get x and 13 times 5, and therefore x is equal to 65. And that means number 9, the answer is C. A dime is worth 10 cents, a quarter is worth 25 cents. Terry has a jar that contains a dollar worth of dimes and a dollar worth of quarters. If he randomly removes one coin from the jar, what is the probability that it is a dime? One dollar worth of dimes means 10 dimes, right? Because each is worth 10 cents. One dollar worth of quarters means four quarters. So probability, we want to remove one coin that is a dime. So there's 10 dimes. And the total is what you put in the denominator is 14, 10 plus 4. And there you go. Low, in lowest terms, of course, that would be 5 over 7. And that means the answer is E.